In the end, all business operations can be reduced to three words. People, product, and profits. People come first. Unless you've got a good team, you can't do much with the other two. From Lee Ayakoka. My name's Jeanette, and I will be your trainer for the next 20 minutes or so. If you have any questions, please reserve them till the end of the presentation. The title of our topic today is Customer Experience Management. Customer Experience Management involves all the God-given sen given senses that we have. It involves a sense of sight because we need to immediately assess what is in front of us to find out what we need to achieve uh, regarding the customer's desires and know the quickest way or shortest distance between it. We need to hear and over and above hearing, we need to actively listen and listen well. We need to have this strong sense of smell or uh, we need to have a grasp on uh, anything amiss or if there's any sense of challenges or in upcoming danger. We also need to have the sense of touch that is a game changer because we know that the human touch is pretty much a very important factor in customer service. And lastly, the articulators. We are disabled when, uh, as frontliners because we cannot see our customers and vice versa, customers cannot see us. So articulators are very important so that we can communicate well. Our objectives to be familiar with perception management, to begin thinking there is no box, to know the importance of accuracy, to know the importance of first call resolution, to know how to gain customer's trust and confidence. Can I have any one of you tell me what you see in this first slide? Thank you. And uh, let me ask you, uh, you think these are managers or agents? Correct, they are managers. Do you know that as call, well, uh, do you know that as frontliners, we are call managers? It's very rare that our manager would be listening uh, on the calls. Uh, perhaps if it uh, has escalated, that's the only time they will partake of a portion of the call but in reality majority of your calls is being managed by you so as call managers we need to exude the same professionalism and confidence let me give you some tips tip number one think smart it was Archimedes who first articulated that the shortest path between two points is a straight line you need to find out uh, assess what is in front of you and you need to find out what your goal is and then bridge the gap tip number two look smart perception is everything according to Oxford perception is the way in which something's regarded understood or interpreted that's pretty much how your customer sees you and tip number three smile Smiling is healthy. It feels good, it's contagious, and it spreads like a virus. Even fake smiles work. You will know this when you begin to curl up your lips. Bare facts. It takes anywhere from three to eight new clients to replace the profitability of each mature client lab lost that's according to fortune of fortune magazine and uh, that's the risk that we take when you put when we put you in the front line and unsatisfied customers are known to share their experience with twice as many people as happy customers well from the time i made this powerpoint up to this very second it has compounded because people who are frustrated with the level of service given them would often resort to uh, talking about it in social media and some even vlog about it. 
Whether you're offering solutions to address a hardware or software issue, your most important product is customer service. Your customers are overwhelmed with so many technical issues. Extraordinary customer care can help simplify their workload and ease their burden. More truths. Customer service perceptions enable clients to quickly and regularly assess their customer service needs. How? Well, through customer satisfaction surveys. These feedback are unbiased and objective, thus giving businesses the opportunity to understand their customers' needs better. The information contained in the evaluation reports give businesses insight into how well employees are doing their job. If you lack confidence in your calls and feel that customers don't notice your effort, the learning perception management is the key to your success. What you actually do may be important, but projecting the right image and managing the perspective or perception of the customers is crucial in today's soundbite savvy world. Effective communication. It is the primary tool for managing perception to motivate the desired behavior in the target audience. A simple statement like, thanks or thank you. If you say this with a smirk, do you think the customers don't envision that you are smirking on the other end of the line? Think again. They do. Now, if you're the kind of person who is really not too much into emotions and uh, yes, you get away with saying thank you with your poker face, you won't have much disgruntled customers, but chances are you won't have much 100% CSATs as well because at best they might give you a 7. But saying thank you from your heart or with a smile, that's a winner each and every time. Everyone has desires. Your job is to learn what they are. You want to exceed expectations. Your customer wants to get their money's worth. You must learn to motivate, communicate, and orchestrate commitment to make it happen. Your customers are your callers, associates, co-employees, superiors, and suppliers. Basically, everyone. Take the initiative. You need to recognize who the initiators are. Who do I need to connect to reach my goal? Initiators are not the whiners, but the people who will help you with the whiners. If you initiate, you become one with those who are initiators, and you are now part of the solution, not the problem. Now take a look at this diagram. The blue bubble is how you see yourself. The red bubble is how you want others to see you. Now the yellow bubble is how others actually see you. Only a small portion of it in the middle is reality. Well, the game, the target is to make sure that reality is much bigger than that because what happens if it isn't, then you're constantly struggling to uh, attain something uh, which ve which is very far from what you are. Um, to put it in a macro level, let's talk about the company image. The blue bubble is the are the inter internal evaluations, like you know the survey that you answer once a year, asking how was the food in the pantry, how did the the uh, recruitment team handle you is your team manager giving you proper motivation you know that and the red bubble is what you know the image of the, the other department is to you and oftentimes it overspills in your call because there are times that you just want to put the blame on the other department and sadly the customers um, get um, know this like oftentimes you'd say oh i'm so sorry mr customer i guess the customer service agent did not do a good job let me help and the yellow bubble is um would be the client satisfaction measured through the customer satisfaction surveys but you see uh, a small portion is reality now companies which are ahead like let's say Google, um, well, they invest a lot on making sure that this, the reality is bigger, much bigger scope 
for example they invest on their proper profiling and also they cater and customize their company to their target market how how do you see this anyone correct that's thinking outside the box but our goal is to eliminate the box thinking there is no box allows us to explore our dynamic side and gets our creative juices flowing it is not only being content with what is the norm but going beyond that and taking the role of an initiator what do you see here exactly they may look smart but they're actually trapped in a box you can actually hear one of them saying i'm trapped now these are for people who can't really go beyond that box they are kind of trapped into it and they can't start you know letting their creative juice flow and they can't see other options for the customer and they also say there's no other way pretty much uh, customers don't want to feel that way and another uh, employee says it's too much work definitely not the type would go above and beyond for the customer and another one would say I'm not happy this is a classic example of uh, an error in profiling simply that agent is not suitable for the account another one says I'll never make it it's a defeatist attitude and initiators can do well in motivating this employee and lastly someone who would say I'm left behind if um, well that's why companies and our company would like to help you to know how you could start thinking that there is no box and there are limitless possibilities another way to think that there is no box is applying the left brain right brain theory simply put don't think too much of you you know um, we're afraid to uh, be illogical often that we don't think about brilliant ideas too much and and we're so afraid to think up wild ideas don't be afraid because once you let this um, once you get your creative juices flowing and you let out these ideas of course naturally our logical brain will just slash out the things which are not feasible and you're left with brilliant options and uh, you know look at these circles here the contemporary or uh, traditional company would start building their infrastructure before even knowing who their customers are or who they are catering to and then they start delivering the customer offer and then develop strategy after uh, failing in some attempts in their marketing strategy definitely if you start eliminating the box you get to know your customers first and then you uh, think of a way on how to deliver the customer offer in a dynamic way then you develop the strategy and then you build infrastructure around those uh, important uh, information uh, I'm gonna go around the room and ask for one word that would describe all four picks yes thank you for your brilliant ideas but the word is actually accuracy and uh, to be specific accuracy in delivering information customers today demand immediate access to accurate information for quick decision making if they encounter an incompetent agent they lose faith immediately and either call back or call another vendor we need to know the importance of product knowledge backed by confidence in delivery we're now conscious of the fact that our accuracy is the key to effective resolution first call resolution is fab what do i mean well first call resolution is the most powerful call center metric a focus and improvement in fcr brings the best of both worlds an improvement in efficiency getting the job done and effectiveness getting the job done well the advantage is that you don't have to worry that you are sacrificing quality because you are actually reducing cost you save time which equates to saving money when you improve FCR 
you are improving quality, reducing costs, and improving customer satisfaction all at the same time. You reap the benefits in the form of in incentives and you get to keep your job. Once again, the feature First Call Resolution is delivering the smart option to the customer without them having to call us back. Advantage, you avoid repeat calls and bring up the service level of your site. Benefit, you get 100 to 200% CSAT and incentives, also a win-win solution for your customer. In a nutshell, good perception management is done by being helpful accurate and prompt in greeting your customers and assisting them in their needs you provide exceptional customer service and simply smart solutions and options for the customers you are perceived as friendly and an ambassador of goodwill finally how to gain customers trust and confidence practice perception management Eliminate the box and start by giving smart solutions and unquestionably brilliant options. Be accurate and know your product. Make first call resolution your primary concern and no doubt you'll continue on into product specific training with this air of confidence. This is how you start gaining customers trust and confidence. Thank you. Do you have any questions? 